so Manson's sentence was commuted to life in prison. Now there's a book, Manson in his own words, as told to Newell Emmons. Emmons is an ex-con who first met Manson while serving a short term in prison for car theft. And true to the unwritten code of the underworld, Manson cooperated on the book because he owed Emmons a favor. Today, correspondent Heidi Schulman went to talk with Manson to find out, after all these years, is there any remorse? Is he sorry? Does he feel guilty? Well, then we here on the Today Show staff uh, debated among ourselves whether to air his answers. Half of our staff said absolutely not. Even though Manson doesn't make a cent off this book, let's not give him any publicity. But another half said yes, believing that some of you are as curious as some of us are. Well, at any rate, here is what Manson had to say. Charles Manson is serving his life sentence for murder in San Quentin prison. That is where we talked with him and with Newell Emmons, author of Charles Manson, in his own words. Our conversation lasted an hour and a half, during which Manson was sometimes lucid, sometimes incoherent, and frequently manipulative. From, from your words, as Mr. Emmons quotes them in this book, it's clear that you were guilty of murder, and yet he says in all his conversations with you, he never heard you express remorse. Have you never felt it? Remorse for what? You people have done everything in the world to me. Doesn't that give me equal right? I can do anything I want to you people at any time I want to, because that's what you've done to me. If you spit in my face and smack me in the mouth and throw me in solitary confinement for nothing, what do you think's going to happen when I get out of here? Uh, guilty. Hmm. I wouldn't do anything that I felt guilty about. You don't feel guilty at all? There's no need to feel guilty. I haven't done anything I'm ashamed of. Maybe I haven't done enough. I might be ashamed of that for not doing enough, for not giving enough, for not being more perceptive, for not being aware enough, for not understanding, for uh, being stupid. Maybe I should have killed four or five hundred people, then I would have felt better. Then when I felt like I really offered society something. You know, if I wanted to kill somebody, I'd take this book and beat you to death with it, and I wouldn't feel a thing. It'd be just like walking to the drugstore. Do you feel blame? Are you mad? Uh, do you feel like wolves go bob for Frenich? Get Frenich, but you put 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 you Newell Emmons is an ex-convict who first met Manson in prison in the 50s. He claims he wrote the Manson book after seven years of conversation with Manson to show that he's no leader, no guru, but just a loser. Why should anyone care to read this book? My purpose when I first started was virtually to destroy the myth. I showed that he's not as complex or as the occult leader, or et cetera, that uh, he's been projected as being. I don't fit in society, and I am incompetent. I'm definitely incompetent. No, that's not what I, I would, said. Well, I, no, I say that. I say that. No, there's nothing wrong with being incompetent, because you don't have to do as much. Uh, <laughs> if you're competent, then you got a lot to do, see? But there's, 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 a, there's another aspect of it, too. Uh, I've learned to reflect. I just reflect back. I know I don't know. I know I'm stupid. I admit I'm a petty whatever. I've never been a success at anything. I even got to the point where I didn't want to be a success at anything. What would being a success, what does that mean, you know? Money? Oh, I've had all the money in the world three times and I had to give it back. That's a stupid little game, you know? My awareness and my consciousness is not the same as somebody that goes to school and has a mom and dad. See, not having parents have left me in a, another dimension, so to say, you know. I don't have no bad going for nothing. I don't judge. I hardly even think about too much. It's hard for me to remember breakfast. In fact, if I didn't have two or three girls to help me, I would pretty much be lost and I wouldn't know what the hell I'm doing. You write in that in all your conversations with Charles Manson, he never expressed remorse. Well, have you seen any today? I mean, he, perhaps he believes totally in his own mind that See, he's not you guilty. You guys got this stuck in your head that I've murdered somebody. You've got it stuck in your brain that I've murdered somebody. What do you want to call me a murderer for? I've never killed anyone. I don't need to kill anyone. I think it. I have it here. 
Who is this man you've been talking to for seven years? Well, the, to me, he's a, a convict that was a failure. I mean, uh, I mean, he's the person that uh, is not capable. I mean, and I still lay it to the way the book uh, reads. It wasn't to uh, start cleaning the earth or anything. I mean, there was a drug burn that initiated the first one, and uh, the black guy, the first uh, tone of violence that surfaced anyway. And then the death of Gary Hinn, and there again, it was dope-related, and uh, it just kept feeding from there, and uh, so it had no uh, spiritual aspects at all. It was just a bunch of guys out there, kids out there, that was living and doing their own thing, and it used to be party time and play time, and then through drugs and the whole bit, well, it started getting a little bit nasty, a little bit meaner, and first thing you know, there's murders. In my whole life, I've burglarized a grocery store, stole some nickels and dimes, busted open a stamp machine, stole a few automobiles, and cashed a couple checks. I'm a petty car thief. I've uh, been with prostitutes and bums and winos and all my life. Uh, the street is my world. I don't, uh, I don't pretend to go uptown and be anything fancy. I can but I find more real in the world that I'm in than I do the tinsel. And the real world is the one I have to deal with every day, you know. Uh, believe me, if I started murdering people, 